Hey everybody, I'm Waddles. So last week I made a video experimenting with elevators in 1.14. In that video, I had a two-way bubble column elevator. You guys seem to have taken some interest in that elevator, so today I'll be making a tutorial on that two-way bubble column elevator. The wonderful thing about this design is the fact that it is expandable and... I guess compactable. <laughs> you can make it as tall or as small as you would like. It is a fairly easy build as well, and that it uses pretty standard mechanics, so it's really nothing new. Here's a quick demo. You walk into the elevator and you go up. At the top, you're pushed out, and then you can press a button and go back down the elevator whenever you'd like to go back down. Then at the bottom, of course, you can switch it back to up mode and go up the elevator again whenever you'd like. And of course, this elevator works in 1.13, and it should be working just fine in 1.14, and so on. In this chest are the resources that you'll need to go and gather up to build this thing. At the top are exact amounts, so two buttons and so on, and then in the middle are not exact amounts. You will need some water sources and some building blocks, and then you'll also need some redstone dust and some redstone torches. Unfortunately, I can't give you exact amounts because those amounts are dependent upon how tall or small you'd like to make your elevator. Over in this other chest are the items that I used to make that little pusher at the top. The pusher is not necessary for this thing to work. It's more of a nice quality of life type of thing to have. So, go ahead and gather up these resources, and then we're ready to go. If this tutorial helps you out, please do me a favor and drop a like, and consider subscribing. So, over here is where I'll be building my elevator today. There is a little bit of preparation that you should definitely do before we get to building. First off, you'll want a column going all the way up to wherever your destination floor is. Now, you'll probably want to block this column in as well because we will have water inside of it and you don't want water spilling everywhere. You might also want to clear out some space behind the elevator so you can do your wiring. So let's start off with a soul sand block at the bottom of our elevator. After that, we'll need to go behind the elevator to place a magma block right next to that soul sand block. Then, place a plain old piston facing inwards towards that magma block, and they should be touching. On the other side, place another piston facing inwards, but have one block of space in between the piston and the soul sand. Now we need to set up two separate circuits to control the up and down function of this elevator. We'll do the up circuit first. So, to do that, place two blocks on the ground behind your piston, and then place a block diagonally above it. On all of those blocks, place some redstone dust. Then finally, take a redstone torch and place it on the side of that upper block so it powers that lower line. Now on the outside of this thing, you'll need a button to control the piston. You can really place this button wherever you'd like so long as it will control the piston. What I mean by that is you could run this wire, you know, higher up or even lower down or whatever you really want to do. You just need a button that controls the piston. So, that's that whole circuit, pretty easy. Now it's time to move over to the other circuit, and it is a little more complex, but it's still pretty easy. To start this other circuit off, place a building block next to your piston. Then, place a redstone dust on top of that block. Now, we need to copy this torch tower that I've built over here to send our signal all the way up so we can control it from the top, of course. The best way to do this would be by trying to place a block on top of that redstone dust. Then, place a block right next to the block that just placed and break the first block. After doing all of that, place a redstone torch on the side of the block and then a redstone dust on top of that block. Copy that process and, you know, kind of keep alternating sides until you reach your destination floor. While doing this, you should hear your piston extending and retracting. That's completely fine. Don't worry about it. It's just going to happen. But make sure you get this going all the way up to wherever you need it to go. Now, it's very important that when you get to the top, your piston is off. If the piston is not in the off position, that is not good. To fix that, remove one layer of your torch tower. Now, it looks like my button would be along the floor, and I definitely don't like that. To fix that, go ahead and grab a building block, and then just run your wire upwards to wherever you want your destination to be. So, I think in the middle of that wall is perfect. Now, swing back down to the bottom of your elevator and place two signs in the doorway. You could also use a door or something else that will hold water. After placing your signs, press your button so your soul sand is at the bottom of your elevator and get water in this whole column. You want your water to go all the way up to the destination floor. So for me, that's right here. 
Now, there are a few ways you could do this. You could place water buckets all the way up. You could let kelp grow. You could do ice blocks. But either way, you do need sources going all the way up. You can't just place water at the top. After doing all of that, your bubble column should reach up here. Press this button to test your switcher. You should have a magma black at the bottom. And then you should be able to ride the elevator down. And then you should be able to switch it and go back up. That's the whole elevator. Now, when you're using this and going down, make sure you're crouching because otherwise you will take some damage from the magma block and that's really not good. So now I'll show you how to make that block pusher to push you out of the elevator. To start off, make sure you have a three high ceiling on your elevator, something just like I have here. Break the middle block, the block that's even with your head and then place a sticky piston behind that block. Then you can go ahead and place that block back. After that, go one block above that and break out either side so you kind of have like a T going on and then place some hooks in there and then a string right there. So basically you have a string on the third block above your elevator. To wire everything up, go behind your elevator and run three blocks going from the wall over to your sticky piston and then place some dust on top of that. That should power the sticky piston. You can test it by jumping into the string. If you're pushed out, it works. If you're on a server and you're having some issues with the timing of this piston here, you can go ahead and replace some of that wire with a repeater. Add some delay to that repeater and the block pusher will push out slower. It is still even with your head though, so it should still push you out of that bubble column. If your connection or the server default tick speed is different, uh, you, you might need to do this here. But that's the whole elevator tutorial. If you do have any extra questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments below, and I will try my best to get back to you quickly. Also, what would you like to see a tutorial on next? Tell me that down below. If you enjoyed the video or if it helped you out, leave a like and consider subscribing. On the end slide, in just a few moments, I'll have my tutorial playlist for you to check out, and you could definitely learn even more things about this game, or maybe learn how to set up a brand new farm. I do have a Patreon if you want to support me directly. If you choose to, you'll get access to my Let's Play episodes early, and you'll also gain access to the DangerCraft server, among other things. My name is Waddles. Thank you very much for watching. Go have a good day. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.